Hi there, YouTube muscly folks. Today is a heavy shoulder day for me. Normally on Wednesdays I do leg day, right? And that's, uh, I only have, a, a tra my training partner Roy is only there with me. Usually on Monday and Wednesday, so those are the uh, workouts that I record. And usually I'll do like bench press focused uh, on Monday, and then Wednesday I'll do uh, legs. But right now I've, I've got an iliotibial band issue where it's like super tight, so um, knee flexion is kind of a problem. By the way, this is my overhead press day today, so this is my heavy set 120. I got three reps, but. Um, Normally I don't. Uh, normally I do legs today, but because of the iliotibial band issue, um, I'm going to do legs tomorrow, uh, and it's just going to be like lighter cardio, and then I'll probably just do deadlifts, and I'll probably will not do squats or lunges because uh, the iliotibial band issue basically is the tightness in my iliotibial band is causing it to track wrong over my knee whenever I flex my knee past a certain point, which doesn't really happen on deadlifts, but does definitely happen on squats and lunges. So I'm just going to give that a break since my next week is my recovery week where I'm not going to lift weights anyway according to my program so that way in order to take what's starting to be you know kind of injurious uh, rather than aggravate it uh, I'm going to let it go ahead and begin healing and just do my main deadlift work set tomorrow since that's what Windler 51 calls for now today I decided to go heavy and do me a joker set here uh, 135 this is a PR that I set like a week or something ago so I just wanted to see if I could still do it and then it was a grinder but it went Right on the hell up. There you Damn. go. Got to get that uh, weight up again because that was something I've been wanting a long time. Just to be able to, you know, put a 45 on each side and put that motherfucker over my head. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, so today it did in fact go heavy as shit on overhead press. I'm glad to be able to show you guys the overhead press today because um, ordinarily it, that's the deadlift day and that's what I've showed most of the time. So. Um, getting the chance to switch it up was actually kind of cool uh, in terms of what I could record. Uh, I do the light bench assistance on the overhead press day after uh, overhead press. Um, just five sets of ten. Nothing controversial. Just to um, perfect the form and build some muscles uh, with Wentz to uh, push the heavy weights on upcoming Big Mondays when the uh, uh, bench press heavy sets will take place and the light overhead press assistance because I'm doing the what you call less boring version of Wendler 531's Boring But Big program. We moved on to the rows. Uh, I always do five sets of ten. Of, uh, a dumbbell row on the one torso day and then on the other torso day it'll be like lat pull downs or chins. More so lat pull downs lately because I've been on a bulk and... Um, I'm really like strong on lat pull downs right now, and my body weight really only goes up to like, whatever it is. So sometimes it's better just to kind of use the heavier weight that you can get with the uh, uh, lat pull down machine. Because I'm one of those light weight people that, for whom chin ups and dips are not as challenging as they are for other people, where it's not necessarily going to ever cause progressive overload necessarily just to do like sets of ten on chins or something. But um, so it was all about the row, row, row your boot for um, today's version of the back. I like the incline here because it forces you to, I do it, you know, to the hip so that it's like all lats kind of and you can't really use much except your biceps uh, to help. So that kind of targets the two main muscles I'm going for. Uh, without, f and the chest support allows me to rest my lower back because I really just work my core too much uh, on this program. It's all barbells for the most part. And then um, always finish up with some rear delts uh, every torso a day, which gets hits twice a week, which I guess that's aggressive. You know, some people don't do their rear delts ever, but I do them like bodybuilder style, like attack them twice a week. I just feel like it, there's a couple aesthetic muscles that if you throw them in there with your strength, you you know, it almost kind of is more about safety, like being able to hold a, a barbell overhead and stuff. You got really good rear delts. Also, to protect your shoulders, um, work some of those rotator cuff muscles that are involved in it. But yeah, uh, finish up with the triceps. I have not been doing curls still, even though my biceps tendon is feeling great, mainly because I just don't, my biceps are still looking pretty yoked. I don't really see a problem in their size and I feel like they're getting worked like crazy on these lat pull downs and, chin and chins and stuff and I wonder if I would have to do less weight if I were to um, uh, you know on my bigger 
you know, on the back movements, you know, my body anticipating that those curls are coming up and saving a little energy for him, you know, probably so. So I'd, I'm just at this point continuing to abandon curls um, until further notice. I've stood these triceps, I, I wonder about them. Like, is this stupid? Probably. You know, is this making it harder for me to do more weight on my heavier opening sets? Probably. But I'm addicted to doing them. <laughs> is the reality of it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I sure do appreciate every last bit of your time. Peace!